everybody, it's Joe. Today I'm gonna do a, another craft one. I'm really excited about this. I decided to go back into doing some more of my passion stuff because um, it is called Passion Unchained, my channel, and it's about how do you live a passionate life. Part of that is a lot of my um, philosophies and life advice, and part of that is me actually doing it myself. It's more like, a, it's kind of like a, a union between living passionately like like a motivation channel and a DIY channel because that's just who I am. I recently got this. And it's a pendant. I just took the, the chain off. Got it from China. And it's a really cool little edgy uh, necklace thing that's like a half skull, like a broken skull. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of wear on it. Looks like it's silver plated or maybe nickel plated or some kind of really shiny metal, and underneath there's a copper collar. I don't know if it's copper or copper alloy or what, but I do know that I have a chemical that I've used before on this channel that um, tarnishes both silver and copper. I've never used it on copper, I've used it on silver, and I wanna see what happens if I rub this off with, uh, I have a bunch of abrasives here. I have some, uh, some 800 grit, I'm gonna use like a very, very, very uh, fine grit. And I also have a quadruple zero steel wool. So I'll see what's the best. Probably I'll try the 800 first and see what happens. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's do this. So apologies for the uh, messiness. This is the 800 grit sandpaper. And this stuff, by the way, is called liver of sulfur, which is, I believe, potassium sulfide. I'm curious to see what, yeah, see, look at that copper color. It's very instantly copper underneath. You can see that right there. Woo! So it's a very cheap piece of jewelry. It costs a grand total of a few bucks. I'm allergic to nickel. I really hope this isn't nickel. If it is, I'm going to get some rashes. The chain also has the same wear on it that's showing a copper color, so I think it's made of the same stuff. And that is giving me a rash around my neck, so I think there's nickel in this. Which is not good. But, uh, hopefully it's just on the coating. Either way, there's ways to mediate the damage nickel can do. If you're allergic, you can coat it in a, some kind of coating so it doesn't actually touch you. Like a uh, clear nail polish is somewhat common. It's kind of neat. It's gonna be really hard for me to get in there and uh, get all that stuff. I could probably use my Dremel. I first wanna see what happens when I tarnish this. Kind of looks cool, this copper color though, especially cause when I uh, sand it down, you can still see those cracks are still silver since they're recessed. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my Dremel to get the parts in there, maybe some polishing compound. Polishing compound is slightly abrasive. That would uh, remove the coating pretty quickly without actually wearing it away. Like a sanding bit would be way too much. Don't want a sanding bit, but a polishing bit would be enough. It doesn't really matter if this stuff touches your skin, but it does say to put gloves on, so I'm going to put gloves on, because why not? This stuff works very quickly. You'll see the the, uh, the results super, super, super quick. I'm going to get some uh, paper to work with. All right, I got some paper and some water to dilute it. It doesn't really matter so much if you dilute it. Uh, it's just to save more of it, because you don't need that much to tarnish. At least silver. I don't know what how it looks when it's reacting to copper. I just know that it works with copper. It also smells like sulfur. I don't mind the smell of sulfur. I've never minded the smell of sulfur, but I know a lot of people do. This, I believe, is stainless steel, so it's not going to touch that. It's not going to do anything to that. But uh, let's see what happens. Oh, that's instant. Check that out. Check how quickly that happened. Yeah, that reacts super quick. That's so cool. Oh, that looks so neat. Now the tarnishing does rub off very quick. Uh, not super quickly, but it rubs off. It's just the coating on, on the copper 
Whoa, that's really neat. I like that a lot. I'm gonna have to polish this whole thing, get that coating off, and uh, that's definitely copper, you can tell. And it also shows me that the outside is probably not silver. The outside is probably nickel because if it was, if the outside was a coating in silver, it would, uh, it would be turning into silver sulfide right now and becoming tarnished. So this coating is probably some like a chromium or nickel plating on top of copper. That's why it's so cheap, but it still looks really cool. Yeah, you see that that stuff on my finger? Yeah, it's it's tarn it's tarnished. That looks a lot neater than uh, than it was before. I'm excited to see what happens when I do it all. But I'm gonna do that in another video. Ooh, that smells like eggs. I'm gonna do that in another video for now. This is a cool little intro to some stuff. I really like using this stuff, uh, liver of sulfur. It, um, it's fun, it's a fun thing to work with. I'm gonna put this outside because I don't want people to smell this when I get it. But uh, if you like this channel, subscribe. If you don't, then don't. And uh, ciao.